I didn't really grow up with a garden. There's really not any background in my family in agriculture, and so it's kind of odd that I've ended up here. Actually, many of the volunteers at UW-Madison Student Farm aren't here because they have ties to agriculture. I didn't know how to grow food until college. I went to school initially to study political science and language. Uh, our generation and people that are, are younger are the people that are really starting to get into this. I think a lot of students feel kind of disconnected from where their food is coming from. It's produced on such a large scale. You can appreciate what you're eating that much more when you get your hands in the soil. Students looking to reconnect with the land make up the student group F.H. King. It's named after Franklin Hiram King, who was a soil physicist during the early 1900s. He is one of the forefathers of uh, organic agriculture. It was started as a way to, to bring students into a hands-on learning experience. We want to give everybody the chance to get their hands in the dirt. The student farm is entirely student-run and led and organized. Our garden uh, is about two acres or so, and we focus on an intensive organic gardening practice. Learning while we're doing it, teaching each other while we're doing it. We grow broccoli, we grow kale, we grow cucumbers, onions, beans, lettuces, carrots. We have rhubarb, lots of perennials, herbs, basil, garlic, potatoes, snap peas, everything, everything. The hard labor made me appreciate the food that I was eating more. I got Crohn's disease when I was 17. That's an inflammatory bowel disease, and I couldn't eat and just lost a ton of weight was just terribly sick. They had me on drugs that were an immune suppressor, so I got scarlet fever, pneumonia, uh, mono, all these different types of sicknesses. There were some other Crohn's sufferers that just turned their diet around, and, and in general, I just started thinking about nutrition. Tom Boyden has become a student leader of F.H. King. He runs one of their newer projects to bring fresh, organic food even closer to students. Trying to have a direct connection right on campus. By growing food on the roof of the Pile Center in the heart of campus. You're able to grow high value crops like spinach and lettuce and greens while helping to insulate the building under. They not only grow food downtown, they also help get rid of the food waste. In cities, you have all this waste and it's just not really being recycled, not really being reused. The Full Cycle Freight Program takes our eight-foot bike trailer and we go around downtown Madison and pick up food waste and bring it to the garden and compost it. Every Friday, everything they grow here in the garden goes back to campus for harvest handouts. It almost sounds too good to be true, but anybody can show up and take what, whatever they want. Well, here, try it. Is it good fresh? We do give most of it away. And that's, that is really fun for me. It's really cool to see you know, all of these vegetables that you bring downtown and people line up. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, grab a handful. I've been coming every week. They have just really interesting vegetables. I got some rhubarb, uh, Swiss chard. Snap peas and cilantro. We're also giving them information about the vegetables as well as teaching them how they can cook it. Mint right here, so if you have ice cream at home and you like mint, oh, so good. If you're working on a limited budget, you might not be as willing to go out and be like, oh, you know, I'm going to try this experimental thing, you know, and pay, you know, however much for it. And it's much easier when you get it for free to say, oh, okay, cool. For me, I think the most satisfying part is seeing the face of the people that you're feeding. I didn't really think about food as a larger you know, ecological, political, social issue until college. I think it should matter a lot to students because our future depends on where we get our food. It's important that people have resources that can empower them. You've got the sun and you've got the earth. You have the ability to have a tomato plot in your backyard or something, as opposed to buying a tomato that came from Chile. For Tom, the rewards are also very personal. I've been relatively symptom-free the last couple of years. What I put into my body was really affecting me. And the best food you can eat is fresh food that you can grow on your own or, or someone near you has grown. I always tell people that the Crohn's is the healthiest thing that ever happened to me. 